Welcome, Moon and Star. Welcome. I have something to tell you. But firstly, follow me to the heart chamber. I prepared some snacks for us. Okay, Nerevar. Now listen, so recently I've been playing newer games like the new Saints Row, the one from 2022, obviously, and Hogwarts Legacy. I was really hyped for Hogwarts Legacy and, yeah, the shitstorm because J.K. Rowling posted some nasty stuff on Twitter, supposedly. Whatever, that's not the point. Listen, so all these newer games are just, I don't know, they're decent, at best. The new Saints Row, Mario Kart Drifting, a super woke narrative, yeah, it's okay, it's not overwhelmingly great like its predecessors, except Saints Row 4, that shit was bad, like really bad. All developers of AAA games or huge studios like Ubisoft, Electronic Arts, they seem to be so fucking focused on sending a political message or something, it's hard to explain. Yeah, I'm aware they're just publishers and smaller studios do their work. That's not the fucking point. Just listen, Nerevar. So with all the shit that's been thrown at J.K. Rowling's and Hogwarts Legacy, I thought, yeah, this might actually be a good game since forever. They just don't care about virtue signaling. They're just going to make a more than decent RPG, but nope. It's boring, bland, and the choices you make don't really seem to have an impact. What? Nerevar, just listen. The game just forces you to reach a certain level to progress. No suggested level, like in Witcher 3, where you can start a quest where you're supposed to be like level 20 and get your ass ripped apart. No, 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 they actually force you to be a certain level, otherwise you just can't progress. No suggested level, no clever story writing, no, not at all. And you can't really level up in that game except doing side quests. The alternative is grinding. I set the game to the lowest difficulty so I don't have to do those mini-games to capture animals like a moron. Do you know why? I'm currently level 31. I'm supposed to be level 34 for the final quest. I did all the story-relevant shit, did stupid side quests. I'm done with everything, but nope, I'm supposed to do all the fucking boring-as-hell side quests from generic NPCs. Like, hey yeah, deliver those potions to my literal competitor three towns away. LOL, see you later. What the fuck is this? No, Nerevar, I'm not joking. That really is a quest from the dude in the potion store in Hogsmeade. Oh yeah, for some quests, you need to know certain spells. Okay, that makes sense, because you're a wizard or witch in training in a school, so that makes actual sense. It kind of makes sense to be experienced to progress, like with the school and stuff. Just think about it. Instead of doing stupid-as-fuck boring quest for some townspeople, how about some God's damn storytelling? Or give me a punishment for not reaching the certain level for Azura's sake. I'm in a fucking school. Tell me to go to certain classes to get experience. Or just punish me for not attending. The punishment could be super duper hard enemies in a quest, which make me throw my keyboard through the window in pure rage. The side quest from generic NPCs could just have a monetary benefit. Is this so fucking hard? Again, I'm in a school. It's a school for casting magic and brewing potions, but it's still a fucking school. Oh, the choices I mentioned, they don't seem to have an impact, I guess. I played the game once, I admit it, okay? Look, I played as a Hufflepuff, and the game told me, yeah, you're like, kind and caring and blah, blah, blah. I'm supposed to be like a really nice guy. Why the fuck do I still get the option to extort money from some NPCs? Like, there's NPC number 317, and she's like, yeah, go fetch me, insert object here, and bring it back to me. I get the object, and I still have the fucking option to be like, Yeah, you want this object? Pay me, or I'm gonna keep it, nerd. What the fuck, Nerevar? The only big impact from choices in the game is what color my fucking clothes have. I can join the super nice guys club and still be a fucking asshole to people. Do you see what I'm getting at? What? Replay value? No, I'm actually done with the game. Literally, I did all the stupid quests to defeat the super angry goblin with the super sad backstory. But I'm not going to sit for another 40 hours to complete the stupid side quests, just so I can see the ending cutscene. That's just stupid. Look, games like Fallout New Vegas, Oblivion, Morrowind, they have replay value. Do you know why? It's not just randomly put together bullshit which had to be done in a hurry. They actually thought about what they create. A level system that makes sense. You can't just unlock everything because you're the chosen one, like in Skyrim. That's dumb. If you're playing as a light armor focused thief, for example, why in the fuck should you, of all people, be able to master heavy armor? I guess you can level heavy armor, but yeah, you get no benefit. 
except maybe Fast XP. But what I'm trying to say is, Fallout New Vegas, love this game, has replay value because the choices you make shape the world. If you join Caesar's Legion, many settlements just hate you and the NCR puts a bounty on your head. Many companions just refuse to come with you, so your current character won't be able to hear their backstories. And that's the most important part. You can still, after decades this game came out, discover shit because random encounters, etc. Okay, check this out. I recently discovered in Fallout New Vegas that there's an Easter egg. You get a golden Pip-Boy. It's called Pimp-Boy 3 Billion or something. Yeah, there are like a gorillion billion people out there who knew about this back in 2010. Well, I didn't. And that's what I'm trying to say. I played the entirety of Hogwarts Legacy, except the last fucking quest, and I know about everything, I guess. There's caves and shit, but there's not really anything that's telling me to explore them. They're generic caves and ruins with a chest that says, Hey, yeah, um, I have a robe you can check out. It's really cool. That's it. While Fallout, on the other hand, the interior of every cave, police station, and so on, the interior design tells stories. You see the skeletons of the pre-war people, and you try to imagine what their last seconds might have been, or you see some leftovers from people who have been to a place before you, and you find a journal, and you read their last thoughts or something. Hogwarts Legacy is like, oh yeah, there's a random ruin, and there's some ancient powers, lol. Look, what I'm trying to say is... Hogwarts Legacy just came out. Oh, and there is definitely going to be a Quidditch DLC like it's super obvious. And I'm already done with it. And then there's games like Oblivion, New Vegas, and so on and so forth. And I still find things to discover. After years, what the fuck are video game developers doing except picking their noses and virtue signaling? Or is this just the zeitgeist? Or am I being uber nostalgic? Oh, Nerevar, please, just tell me what you think about this. Oh, one more thing. I can cast Avada Kedavra, but Sebastian is the one I can indirectly send to Wizard Horror Jail. Avada Kedavra is super forbidden magic, and no one is allowed to use it. Except me, for some reason. That makes total sense, right?